everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we've got what I think is a bit of a hidden gem feature. It's not really hidden, but it's not exactly core game content and it's a bit of a gem because it's kind of small but sweet. The Trial of Style is a new feature in patch 7.2.5. It's basically a six person transmog competition where one person ends up being crowned the winner at the end. So the way it works is you queue up for an instance and then you get ported into Magister's Terrace. There's then a two minute cooldown and a pop up which gives you the theme of the competition. There are a whole bunch of different themes. Uh, this time I got ready for battle. That ended up working out quite well for me because I basically had no transmogs ready. Now there's two transmog NPCs in the room and you have those two minutes to work out what set you want to go for. During that time, everyone's just wearing a plain robe so you can't really spy on what other people's entries are. Uh, I was not prepared so I just went with the tier 19 hunter set and uh, just a random uh, TBC crossbow. A decent enough fit for ready for battle. Now the other themes are summer style, winter wear, fun and flirty, mismatched mayhem, fire and ice, dark and deadly, faction pride, primal style, heroes of Azeroth, make me laugh, tabard time, uh, everyday heroes, epic purple, champions of the light, and then finally freestyle, so you can do whatever the hell you want for that one. I kind of love the variety that they've got going on there. It's one of those situations where the constraints and themes often should lead to more creativity than if the possibilities are sort of just limitless. I'm especially keen to see whatever kind of derpy bullshit comes out of the mismatched mayhem one, which is probably going to end up being a bit of a throwback to the kind of gear people were wearing during the actual Magister's Terrace dungeon. Anyway, with all that done, uh, the two minute timer goes, and once that's up, two players get teleported up to the podium. You then get to choose between them, like whichever one that you prefer, they get to do some emotes, and then it just cycles around everyone, giving all of the players like a choice between two. I think it's pretty good, uh, choosing between like all six at once would be kind of hard, and I think it's a bit more kind of fair this way. Uh, while you're on the podium, there's a bunch of emotes you can do. People can throw objects at you, which was kind of fun. Uh, once all of that is done, the votes are tallied, and then somebody is crowned the winner, and there'll then be a second and a third place. Now, for winning, you actually do get a reward for this, which I didn't really expect. So there is a, like, there's a new currency. I think the cap on it for your character is 200, but the uh, the vendor isn't in the PTR yet. The tooltip does say you can purchase cosmetic gear for them, though. Not sure exactly what's up with that, but I think there's a, it's a pretty good reward loop to have for Transmog. Transmog has been a large part of the game for some people since Cataclysm, so it's actually nice to see them throw some MMO-ish content into the mix there and actually sort of add some game mechanics to Transmog. There have been a few new cosmetic sets added on the PTR as well, including one that allows demon hunters to use the Warglaives of Azanoth just as a Transmog appearance which is a bit bizarre. We do not know the full context of that, and I would honestly be surprised if Blizzard let people use the Warglaives 100% of the time. It would be a break from their general stance of not letting you transmog into a legendary item. Uh, I mean, if they did, everyone would just be running around with Warglaives after a few months. They actually did drop for me once, but it was on my Hunter, which was kind of disappointing. Now, this is currently implemented as a holiday event, though I would hope that it's something that's recurring, so, you know, it's kind of like in seasons, I guess. Um, I think that they can't always have this be available because of queue times, and they probably want to make it feel like an event, so ideally they can strike some sort of balance there. It's actually a surprisingly well put together, polished and fun little system, and I mean, yeah, it feels more polished, it feels more cared for and more creatively interesting than really most of the new content in patch 7.2. But that's definitely a discussion for another day. Hopefully, at the very least, this gets the transmoggers uh, just a little bit of fun and something to do whenever this patch drops. And as for when this drops, once again, we're expecting that 7.2.5 will be the patch that also unlocks the Tomb of Sagaris Raid and brings a whole bunch of class changes and, of course, the Black Temple uh, time walking as well. It looks like maybe June is the date for that, but once again, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.